Sticks on your side. We're taking a closer look at the state of mental health in Idaho through our Finding Hope series. Ada County Coroner Dottie Owens has been very outspoken about her efforts to educate the community about the increasing number of deadly overdoses happening in the Treasure Valley. As Karen Lair reports, instead of deaths due to one particular medication, Owens says they're now seeing more deadly overdoses caused by a combination of drugs. We're so used to seeing these in the office anymore that it's just like an everyday norm for us. Um, I hate to say that. Fatal drug overdoses are no longer shocking to staff at the Ada County Coroner's Office. Dottie Owens collecting data to keep track of trends in the Treasure Valley. So I'm 31 that are just flat overdoses this year. Each case is thoroughly investigated through toxicology testing to determine a cause of death. And instead of strictly prescription pill overdoses, the county's coroner is seeing a growing trend of deaths due to multiple drugs. And that's it's interesting to me that it's not not just one flat drug at this point. We're seeing multiples, so methamphetamine with a gamut of other things that they're taking or heroin with a list of other things that they're taking. Some cases are surprising, including a recent elderly couple in their 70s, both found after fatal overdoses with methamphetamine in their systems. One is too many, so we need to get to the point where we're educating the public on um, what we're seeing, what's going on. We keep an eye on if we have any excessive prescribing. We're still watching that pretty closely. So how common is it? In 2018, 90 people died in Ada County solely from drug overdoses. Drug related deaths topped 140. That could cover like a motorcycle accident because they were intoxicated on whatever the drug was in the system. So far, Owens expects a similar outcome by the end of 2019, but at the least she hopes to help educate the community about concerns of mixing certain medications. If we're starting to see an uptake in combinations, we need to start educating somewhere that we, you know, you shouldn't be taking these and drinking alcohol or you shouldn't be taking this certain combination of medications. Karen Lair, six on your side. The coroner's office is working to get all of this information up on their, we their website over the next few months. At that point, anyone can log online and see live updates on the number of overdoses in the county and what kinds of drugs are involved.